Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to add a plow mount to a mod for Farming Simulator 2017. So I'll just show you what mod we're putting on. We're putting it on Ford F450 made by Winston 9587. Here it is. It's got this thing on it. Uh, but it looks like a pretty good truck. I could, be a, I could make a good plow truck. If I wanted to, I could totally drip this thing out. Add a salt that are open. The, I'd have to open the bed and blender. Get rid of the tailgate. Get rid of this thing up here. Put a plow on it. Put some lights on the plow. Yada yada yada. Put some beacons. But we're not going to do that. Today I'm just going to show you how to put the plow mount on. So, first thing you want to do open a mod that has the plow mount. For example, I'm going to open the 2002 Chevy 2500 that I made. Well, not made, but converted. Can't say you made a mod in this day and age because people get butt hurt about that. Rightfully so, because I didn't make this, but anyways. I've been thinking of making a new one of these that looks more realistic because that kinda doesn't look very realistic. I might, not sure, but anyways. So you want to come over here. It's gonna be a thing called plow. I right, click on that. And you want to go to file. Export selection of files, and you want to go to wherever your mod is. On this case, it's on my desktop. This is the 450 do. I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call it Plow. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it Plow Mount. Then you want to click No. So then you come over here. Open your uh, i3d. We want to go import, then you want to import this plow mount. Obviously, it's in here plow, plow mount. Then you want to take this over here, control X, and cut it, and then control V, paste it into the mod, otherwise, it won't work. Then you just want to move it around. That should be good. That's probably too low. Yeah. A little bit higher. On a happy medium, because you can't. I mean, you will have a clipping in the bumper. Just because this is completely wrong. No, plum on sort of this. But, anyways, I mean, I could add lights here, but nah. So, that's how you add that in GE. That's all done there. So after you're done, I'm gonna move the camera back. Let's move it. We're done in here. Well, not completely done. Done messing with stuff in here. So, anyways, 53. You gotta remember that number. So we go over to my Silverado, and we're gonna open the mod description. This is just something I was working on before. Okay, we're gonna go down to attach joints. And you wanna take this part of the code. Actually, just this part. Copy that. And you wanna go into that 450, in this case. Go down to attach your joints. And paste it in there like so. And we want to change 14. 53. Oops, that's Blender. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Yep. 14. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong mod. This is it. Should be 53. One, yeah. 53. So you want to change the 14 to 53. If you want to get fancy, you can do Control F. I'm gonna replace it with Notepad plus plus, but you can just—it's <laughs> only two things. You might as well just change it manually. 53. So that's that for the XML. As you can see, our plow mods on the front. And it should hook up. There we go. Get ready to plow. Thank you.
thanks for watching guys. If you want to see any other tutorials, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Like, comment, subscribe.